what we hope to accomplish is basically improve the care that patients are getting, help students learn how to provide better care, and then decrease costs. A curriculum called Interprofessional Hotspotting aims to do just that by helping this concentration of high-need, high-cost patients who are considered to be the hotspot of healthcare resource usage. 50% of all U.S. healthcare dollars are spent on 5% of the patient population. Michael Aronson, a 2019 Emory University School of Medicine graduate, worked to bring the course to Atlanta. It's a way to learn from people of other, other disciplines while being heavily involved in our own local community and also getting hands-on experience in a way that is gonna be beneficial to patients. Colin McNamara is a 2018 Emory Nursing School graduate who partnered with Michael to help get the hotspotting curriculum up and running in Atlanta. The program was jump-started with money from Emory School of Nursing and the Emory Primary Care Consortium, as well as a student seed grant from Emory and Georgia Tech. The course emphasizes the importance of interprofessional collaboration, from nurses and doctors to social workers and public health professionals, all working together to find solutions for these particular patients and the healthcare systems that serve them. The Interprofessional Student Hotspotting Program is an opportunity for students of a few different disciplines to work with each other while doing some case management for patients who are considered high utilizers at Grady Hospital. Participating students have been recruited from Emory School of Medicine and School of Nursing, as well as Rollins School of Public Health, Georgia State School of Social Work and College of Law, Mercer University College of Pharmacy, and the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. And the program is making plans to expand to other Atlanta institutions. These students are discussing how to engage patients when they are admitted in the hospital. The hotspotting curriculum exposes them to many critical facets of the healthcare system that many of their peers won't see until later in their careers. And though the cost has been nominal, the observations and ideas discovered here could have an even greater impact if the program were to expand. It means better care for the patients, and better care for the patients means lower cost for the hospital. We're all still in training, and so we're not yet licensed pharmacists or attorneys or nurses or doctors, and so we're not providing actual official legal consultation or medical advice. We're more so helping with some of the navigation and explanation of the healthcare system. I'm on your team. When you put students from different disciplines together and put them on a team and have them thinking and working together, it really facilitates these conversations that you can't really have when you're just talking to other public health people or you're just you know, in a conversation with other social work people, medicine people. It does take an extreme amount of communication to be on the same page about a patient. And what's so exciting about this program is that it gives us an opportunity to practice that before we enter the professional field and are likely going to be doing that for a career. That we have to take care of vulnerable people, that we have to reduce pain and suffering in the world, and make the world a better place, and in so doing, we um, not only make things better for the patient, but we decrease costs for the healthcare system and the hospitals, and we teach the next generation of healthcare professionals how to be leaders. If you'd like more information about the Atlanta Hotspotting Curriculum or would like to make a contribution, use this email address or just follow the link below.